This Pitts biplane from our friends at FMS is a fantastic radio controlled aerobatic aeroplane. But I want to fly it as if I'm in the cockpit. I'm going to do that by taking these two 3D printed pieces to make a gimbal. That looks like this. So those two same 3D printed pieces with two servos and the DJI digital air unit with its camera so I can pan and tilt and then retrofitting it to the canopy for the FMS Pitts biplane for that realistic in cockpit view via my FPV goggles. Time to try it out down the flying field. Okay so here we are down the flying field and uh, we're about to take the FMS Pitts for its first FPV flight. So as I've said always it's sensible for a first flight to have somebody as the passenger wearing the FPV goggles while somebody else flies it line of sight. I'm going to be flying it line of sight. So James is wearing the goggles. James if you move your head side to side. That's good and up and down. That looks good. Is it centered? I think Jason was saying you need to tap the left and it recenters. There we go. All right, so we're switching to onboard view and we'll continue to record the audio, but I hope you enjoy the flight. Just put my glasses on. I might stand up if that's all right, because then at least I can keep turning. <laughs> yeah, will do. So if you could keep recentering it as you need to. There's no wind up to. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going down anyway. Trainer signal lost. Trainer signal recovered. So how's the view? Uh, it's good. It's bumpy at the minute. Shouldn't be after we're in the air. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, Jay's going to chase. Yep, yeah, here we go. Trainer signal lost. Trainer signal recovered. Trainer signal lost. That range on that Bluetooth connection is not great. <laughs> Trainer signal recovered. Trainer signal lost. Ready? camera is stuck to the left by the way. Oh. Then if I get closer to you if it will relink. Trainer signal recovered. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's got to stay really close then. Like we're in an intimate relationship. <laughs> so <laughs> that's good. So there's a Bluetooth connection between the transmitter and the head tracking unit that Jason built, Arduino based head tracker that's on the side, mounted on the side of the goggles that James is wearing. So we have to stand very close together. So if you could be looking around James, giving the folks a good view. That's us on the left. Gonna do a loop, Jay. How you doing, James? Yeah, all good. Stay Just, with me. I can't. I keep having to turn to keep it in frame. Going up. Hovering. Cool. 
just saw Jason go past. Hovering and falling out of the hover. Oh, inclement weather. Yeah, as I can see on the cockpit on this. Oh, you're getting rain? Oh yeah, it's covered. Uh, we're passing and we should be on your left. Coming up. Yeah. Let's get a bit of altitude. Couple of hundred feet, I reckon. So yeah, we do have a bit of low cloud, a little bit, well, it's not rain, I would say. Light precipitation. stops us from flying, except for, except for rain. Is it still drifting? Oh yeah, that's why I'm oh, slowly oh, no. turning around. That is, for, is it just, it's just drifting on the panning, isn't it? Yeah, it just drifts left. I wonder if I need to shield the servo. The reset works well. We'll come around, we'll do a knife edge. Do another fast pass, low pass. Over the top, we'll do a stall turn actually. I haven't done one of those yet. Lovely. Tight turn, and we'll come in for landing. Yeah. No, because it's not focused on the canopy. But yeah, there is um, quite a lot of um, moisture. Oh, that's for sure. Well, imagine what it's like for a full-size pilot. One of my better landings. Very nice. That's good. Can you see us uh, in the pits? Yep. Yeah. And you look left, and there we are. All right. <laughs> it's looking the other way. Oh, it's got a mind of its own, really, hasn't it? There we are. Right, so that's it. Uh, first FPB flight, as expected, a few little bugs to sort out, particularly that drift and uh, flying on a better day. But thanks for watching Essential RC. Hope for, I'm, I'm hoping I can fly FPV in the near future after I've sorted that out. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Please click the bell icon for future notifications of future uploads and live streams. But see you next time. <laughs>